The big day is almost here. The advent calendars are almost through. That's right. It's almost time for the release of Wonder Woman 84 and that new Pixar movie, Soul. So to celebrate that, it's breakfast time! Oh. Hello, Potato, and welcome to a breakfast time edition of Void of Intelligence, where today we're going to go back to the kitchen and make us some holiday cakes. Color changing pancake mix with sprinkles. Look how green that is. How much one bet it does not look like that when we open it up. And as part of this completely imbalanced breakfast, we're also going to have elf cereal flavored with maple syrup and other natural flavorings. So, I mean, it kind of looks like uh, the Mandalorian cereal, doesn't it? It's the kind of kicks puffs with marshmallows, but apparently this will taste of maple because, you know, that scene in Elf where he puts syrup in his breakfast and it's disgusting. Uh, interesting thing on this box, I want you to notice, they have removed Will Ferrell's face because even Will Ferrell has standards. So let's take a look at that first. We're not going to eat that first, but, you know, pancakes, once we can go in with that, that's going to need to be finished. So let's look at these, uh, the cereal here first. There's a lot going on in the back here. You can help Buddy the Elf fill the clausometer. Look, there's the narwhal and him pouring syrup on spaghetti and all your favorite moments from that movie, which in the interest of full honesty, I don't particularly like that film. Although Netflix has a very nice little documentary about the making of it with the, I think it was what called, the holiday films that made us. Yeah, it's a fun little documentary. I don't care for the film, but the story of how it was made is very interesting. Much more compelling than the movie itself for me. Your mileage may vary. What say to do is to deck the halls and make garland with colorful construction paper. Do, do, do kids still make things with construction paper? I know that was big when I was a kid, but is that still a big thing? Cut out snowflakes or popcorn strung together with string. Remember to use air popped if you're going to do that, kids. Draw a picture of Santa and send it to him with the North Pole. Santa loves surprises. So perhaps include it in a box with a mousetrap. Santa will love that. You'll get on the good list for sure. Sing loud for all to hear. Please don't. Just please don't. You know what? Children and singing, no, just please don't. Lend a helping hand. That's not being helpful. Organize a neighborhood food drive and donate your local food shelf. Food pantry, isn't it? Usually, I guess, I guess different places call it different things. Share some sweet treats. Find Buddy-approved recipes at BettyCrocker.com for all your friends and family. Don't forget to leave some for Santa and his elves. You know, while we're throwing out uh, web addresses here, I should have mentioned that. I should have mentioned this actually before now. But about a week ago, one of my stories was released as part of the Dune Steve audio fiction magazine. It's a podcast that's been running for like over 10 years now by Rish Outfield and Big Anklevich. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think it's actually the third story I've had on there. This one is a nice little holiday tale called The Beefalo Punt or How I Ruined Christmas. And it is set in the same existence as the story time story, Spacey Little Cowgirl, although it does not feature the characters from that story. I would encourage you to go check it out. I will put a link in the description. And while you're there, they have a bunch of other Christmas-themed stories up there, so if you need a little fiction to get you through the rest of the holiday season, they're there for you. Go check them out. All right, back to today's stuff. Yeah, so that's... What do we have here? 140 calories without milk, 180 with... Only 8% of your sodium. Is there sodium in milk? You get an extra 2% of your sodium with your milk. With skim milk. So I can imagine what it must be if you put in whole milk. Uh, no vitamin D, 20% of your iron, 20% of your folate, 20% of your, what is it, B6? B6, that's tiny, tiny writing. And the ingredients are corn, sugar, cornmeal, brown sugar, maple syrup. There's actually maple syrup in it. Well, that, that impresses me a little bit. I think this is going to be not the best, you know, Let's open it up first, because again, once we go with this, we're going to want this to be ready already. So let's, uh, let's check out our elf cereal. Alright. 
I'll put it in the bowl now. Got the bowl. Oh wow, that smells really strong. I just got a whiff of that. And that, that is an intensely strong maple scent. And I'm sure this is a great visual close up of me closing a box. But you know what? You're probably used to that stuff here by now. It's been going for a year and a half. I'm sure you're used to this. So yeah, there's our uh, elf cereal. If you didn't have the box right next to it, you would have no idea that's supposed to be elf themed cereal. At least the uh, Mandalorian cereal had like Grogu shaped bits in it. All right, so let's uh, yeah, that is, that smells like a maple donut. That's what that smells like. A single piece is not as overpowering as I thought it would be, but it, but it is very strongly flavored. Let's try one of these little packing material marshmallows. I don't know if they're supposed to be maple flavored or if they just picked up some flavor from the puffs around them. But it does taste like a maple flavored uh, marshmallow. So that's interesting. All right, we'll put that off to the side because we'll, we'll eat that when our pancakes are ready. Let's look at our pancakes. By Ella Berry Holiday Cakes Color Changing Pancake with Sprinkles. Watch Mix Change Green with Water. Yeah, I know I read that badly, but that's just, that's a weird phrasing. Watch, watch mix change green with water. Not turn green, but change green. Made with Sprinkle King. It's a registered trademark of somebody. Get into the holiday spirit with Ella Berry Holiday Cakes Pancake Mix. The color changing pancakes with sprinkles. Watch as the pancakes turn green, creating holiday fun for the whole family. Top the pancakes with butter and your favorite syrup or whipped cream and sprinkles for a decadent treat. To make 19 to... Oh, sorry, that's a 10. That's a line through there. To make 10 to 12 three inch pancakes, you will need three and a half cups of mix, one and one half cups of water, which we happen to have right here, and an egg, which we happen to have right here. And uh, so heat griddle, well, we won't do that. Can't do that in here. So we'll wait to that. I appreciate that they've put on here that they're they're three inch pancakes because usually and they put on here it makes ten pancakes but they're not normal sized pancakes they're like you know little three inch pancakes which yes I believe this will make ten to twelve three inch pancakes if I were making three inch pancakes which I probably won't be making it's probably gonna be more like six inch so we'll probably get five or six out of this interestingly so it takes three and a half cups of mix but a serving size is only a third of a cup. So to make one batch of these, you are making a little more than, what, 10 servings. So each one of these pancakes, I mean, if you're making these three inch ones, each one of these is 220 calories. And let's say, you know, for breakfast, you're going to have, I mean, three inch in particular, you're going to have what, uh, three or four of these. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a calorie day's calories right there. And that's without even adding syrup or butter, whipped cream or sprinkles. Do they show? They don't show up with any syrup on it, so we're not going to try it with syrup. I guess we'll try it. I don't know. I don't want to do whipped cream because it'll just melt and it'll look horrible on camera. So we'll just have them plain, I guess. I, I mean, I still have some of that ocean blue cap and crunch syrup, but we'll, we'll spare that. Although, you know, mixing blue and green could be interesting. All right. Yeah, it's not too much with this, so we need three and one half cups of mix. And luckily I have a scoop and a bowl to mix it all in. So let's do that. Open it up, take a look, see what it looks like inside. Of course it doesn't want to open because why would it? I always love these kind of tops. All right, so I wonder if this actually be green or if it'll just be that kind of sickly gray the Captain Crunch was. Well, it's not green now. Uh, it's just why there are little bits of red floating in it. I don't know if you can see that particularly well. So I need like seven of these scoops. This is a half cup scoop. And all right, so. This is gonna be like half this package. This is, well, I guess I made half batches when I made the Captain Crunch, didn't I? 
I didn't do full batches. And today I'm doing a full batch because I don't want to try to cut an egg in half. This is a half a cup, right? Yeah. That's one and a half cups. Two cups. Three cups. No, two, no, sorry, two and a half cups. Three cups. Three and a half cups of mix. All right, that's, that's a lot. I almost feel like maybe I put it in a half a cup too much. But that's, that's a lot. All right, so I guess it's gonna change when we add the water. So I guess we should add the, uh, the egg first. Plop that in there. There's no restriction on this one for making waffles, so I guess I won't be doing that. Like I did with the Captain Crunch. Plus, I mean, oh, it is turning green. That just doesn't seem like a lot of water for that much mix. But let's let's get it all stirred up. It says to stir it. Yeah, it was like half the package. So this makes about two batches of pancakes. Stir it up for about 20 seconds until all the lumps have disappeared. Well, it definitely is turning green. Now, whether that's an attractive shade of green, well, you know, your mileage may vary there. I suppose that's pretty festive looking, isn't it? I wonder what in it is causing it to turn green. I didn't look at the ingredients. What's the sodium in this? I was looking at the sodium. 33% of your sodium. So if you have three pancakes, you're having like all of your salt for the day. Why is there so much salt in a pancake? All right, I think that is pretty well mixed up. Maybe not. All right, I'm gonna call that good. So let's you, me, and the world's least stable tripod head into the kitchen and we'll try to cook these. It was fun last time, I'm sure it'll be fun again. So here we are in the kitchen, hence the extra echoey sound, and uh, we're just waiting for the skillet to, to heat up. So in the few minutes it's taken me to get everything set up out here, our uh, mix has puffed up rather a lot. So I guess that's good. This is gonna make, since it's gonna make a lot of pancakes, uh, it's pretty thick. Let's, let's try a little bit of it on its own, just to see. It's a nice kind of slime green. You love the sprinkles out. You could do this like as Ghostbusters, uh, Ghostbusters slime pancakes. That could be interesting. Yep, that is pancake batter. For better or worse. So the instructions are to put about a little less than a quarter cup of batter into the skillet, or the fry pan in this case. Uh, well, I guess that's a skillet, isn't it? I think it's a griddle. That's where I'm, I'm making the distinction. So we're going to try to do that, and... Uh, make us up some pancakes. I'm not going to bore you by showing you me actually making this many pancakes, but we'll we'll jump around and stuff. We'll see how it goes. Let's see how hot the, the uh, griddle's hot enough. I'm going to say that is ready. All right, so take our first scoop. Just plop it right down in there. I do want to point out this is not only the only second time this year I've made pancakes, it's probably the second time this century I've made pancakes. So, uh, I don't know how much I learned from the last time around. So this has to get about a minute, minute and a half per side. So we'll do that. And I do think I may have accidentally put too much mix in here. This seems like it should be spreading a little bit more than this. Of course, again, the only thing I have to compare it to is Captain Crunch. Well, anyway, I did make some crusties ones when I made the Captain Crunch, didn't I? And those came out okay. I am making a mess now, because I shouldn't have touched it yet. No, I should have. That's ready to flip. I mean, I guess that looks like a pancake. 
I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit. This stove gets very hot. I mean, that's sort of the point of a stove, right? So these like red sprinkles coming through here. Kind of look like there's red pepper in here, doesn't it? That's what you want in your uh, your breakfast, isn't it? These are truly going to be some ugly looking pancakes. Let me just kind of tease it out a little bit to thin it. Okay, so these the first pancakes are always sacrificial, so maybe these ones are so a little bubbling there. Maybe that's that's what I'm looking for. These are going to be some ugly, ugly pancakes, though. Here's what they look like when they're done. I, don't know, I, I almost think doing a Ghostbusters slime promotion with these would be better. Or maybe Grinch. They're kind of Grinch green. Maybe a little light for Grinch. You see, you're just seeing this as a series of cuts where I'm cutting out all the bits where I'm actually just doing the cooking. So to you, this is going much faster and it's still probably quite boring. I got this little bit here. Let's, let's give it a try and see, see what it's like. Well, that piece is overdone, but not repulsive. It's not as sweet as the Captain Crunch was, as I recall. This is, assuming that's an indicative flavor of the whole thing, it's actually just kind of very, very plain and straightforward, which I kind of appreciate. This is puffing up quite nicely. I, I think I'm getting some like little bubbles forming. I think that means it's ready to flip. Somebody told me on the Captain Crunch video that that's what you look for. That's not a bad one. Maybe a little color, a little more color than I would actually want, but that's not bad. I think I think we're getting the hang of this. How really, as much as I have stirred this, I have stirred this more off camera too. And this is just, I keep finding little pockets like this. That'll make it crunchy. It's getting on everything. Green on everything. See this? This is why this isn't a cooking channel. Right there. That's why. All right, this is it. This is our last pancake. So give them credit. Uh, even though these are, are definitely more than three inches, it did actually make 10 pancakes. So we're almost done. And I haven't managed to set anything on fire. So that's that's a plus. Okay, that's looking. All right, I am gonna say this is done. Let's kill the heat. And we will grab, retire back to the void space and see if I haven't messed these up too badly. And here we are back in the relative safety of the void space. We've got our pancakes now. We've got our cereal. Of course, we need we need some milk for that. Here it is. Your completely imbalanced holiday breakfast. So let's uh let's get some milk in that cereal, and then we will dig in to our holiday feast. I say is as much. Is that maybe uh, didn't go exactly as one might have hoped? At least made less of a mess than I did last year trying to make those uh, eggnog mochas and discovering, of course, why nobody makes eggnog mochas. However, I think this cereal may be worse, but let that soak for a minute while we dig in to our fluffy green pancakes. So yeah, to their credit, I think I said this already, but to their credit, this did make 10 pancakes. I have six of them here. Um, I left the other four for my wife, or I inflicted the other four on my wife. We'll see how that ends up being decided. Yeah, you can see some little red sprinkles in there. I've not put any syrup or butter or anything on it. I've put it exactly the way it is in the package. It smells like a normal pancake. Well, it definitely needs some syrup. It's uh, pretty dry, but it is cooked all the way through. So that's, that is something I was legitimately concerned about is that it wasn't kind of a very, I mean, I know it is technically, it is a foam, but it looks kind of like I've just ripped apart some sort of old foam cushion here and I'm eating it. I mean, they're not awful. 
I think kids will like it because they're green and sparkly, and or sprinkly, not sparkly. Because, you know, let's face it, kids don't know from taste. Okay, they have no frame of reference. You know, when you have 40 years of taste reference, you know what tastes good and what doesn't to you. Um, also, I need to go back through and double check to make sure I put the right number of scoops of uh, mix in there. We'll see. I'll, I'll put it on here, or maybe I'll even show it if I put in five, which is what I meant to put, or six, because I can't count to six. Interesting on the package, though. I do not either. They used a mold, or they've actually cut these out. I think they've cut these out of bigger pancakes, or possibly just orange foam that they've painted. I mean, it does look it does look about the same. Maybe uh, maybe mine's a little tighter than theirs. Of course, those are the first ones. Let's try some of these ones from later in the batch and see what they look like. This is the last one on this plate that I did. Let's cut into it. And... Yeah, it's still about the same. So you'll have to see if I, uh, if I screwed that up or not. Alright. But they're passable. I mean, you know, if you wanted to give your kids something a little different on Christmas morning, these are perfectly cromulent. Um, would I suggest maybe using a higher quality mix, like say like a Krusty's, which is, you know, it's kind of my gold standard, and just add some green food dye to it? Oh, I wouldn't tell you not to. But if you do think the kids will be interested in seeing it turn green, well, then that's that's something. Although it was really hard to get mixed up thoroughly. I kept I kept stirring it, which is, you know, not good for the bubbles, but I kept stirring it, and yet when I pour it in the pan, there'd be more unmixed batter. Or mix. Unbattered mix? Anyways, it was annoying. And the fact that it was not turned not green is what made it stand out as having not been mixed in thoroughly. If it was just a white standard pancake mix, I probably wouldn't even have noticed. So I wonder if that's happened before. All right, uh, some of our marshmallows are pretty melting here. So I suppose we should try our Elf Sweetened Corn Puffs with Holiday Tree Marshmallows Cereal. It does absolutely reek of maple. But there's actual maple syrup in it, so I, I, I appreciate that. They've actually put maple in their maple flavored item. I'm gonna say that is not as bad as I thought it would be. Would I say it's as good as last year's Elf on the Shelf cereal? Eh. That was a pretty generic flavor. This at least is kind of a unique flavor. Uh, I don't think I've had a whole lot of maple flavored cereals before, so I'll give them that. Uh, does it make me think of the movie Elf? Well, I mean, it is it is overly sweet, so I suppose. But it's not bad. I mean, it'll, it's, it's not throw it in the trash bad. It's not Sour Patch Kids or anything, so, you know, yeah, that's a... That is acceptable. These are both perfectly cromulent Christmas morning meals. So, if you are looking for that last minute thing you want to want to add into Christmas morning just to make it that much more Christmassy, these are a couple of perfectly viable options. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed me making a fool of myself trying to cook again. And I hope you found this all interesting or entertaining. If you did, please give it a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, there are still a couple days of Advent Calendar left before we get to the big day. But if you're not watching those, and this is the last time that I see you before the big day, have yourself a Merry Christmas or a Good Friday, if that's more of what you're into. And I'll see you in the next video.